Bagari is going to talk about a robot with dragonfly vision. Imagine you are a fielder in a cricket match and you have to catch the ball to win. What do you have to do? First of all, you have to see and track the small ball against all the excited fans. Then you have to estimate where you can touch the ball. Then you have to tune your velocity, the motion of your hand, the motion of your leg to actually catch the ball at the right time, at the right place. Now, what if instead of the cricket ball, you had to catch a ball which can change its velocity and its direction, like the golden snitch in Harry Potter? You can imagine how difficult it is just to see it and track it, let alone to catch it. Even though this is a very challenging task, it's a common behavior among animals. Many animals develop neural systems which allow them to track targets for predation, territorial, or mating purposes. For example, dragonflies have low resolution eyes and a tiny, tiny brain smaller than a grain of rice but they can capture their prey more than 97% of the time. Such a robust target tracking behavior is the envy of engineers for applications such as surveillance, wildlife monitoring, smart cars, surgical robots, and even bionic vision. So in this project, we are learning from the master of pursuit. In our lab, we catch dragonflies and we stick a very thin electrode into the neurons tuned to small moving targets. Then we put them in front of monitor, show them different motion pattern on the screen, and record from these neurons to understand how they work. The actual algorithm brain used for target tracking. This is the inspiration for my project. Based on these recordings, I developed a model for target tracking. I implemented this model on a robot to chase targets like a dragonfly. In biological systems, we don't have a switch to turn on and off the properties of neural system to see their effect on the animal behavior. But by using this robot, I can test the effect of these neural properties under real world conditions. And this allows us to get a better insight about how brain works. In fact, just last week, a lab discovered a strong evidence for a behavior we predicted with this model a year ago. But that's not the only outcome of this project. This model performs very robustly while it runs up to 20 times faster than the best available engineering models. This shows that it can be used for engineering applications which require a reliable and fast processing algorithm. So in near future, you might see smart police cars chasing criminals by a vision that is inspired by dragonflies.